Hello everyone, Randy here playing Farming Simulator 22 on Elm Creek. And since last episode finished selling the load of oats, we were taken down to the grain silo there at West. And then of course just finished selling them with the train there, got those all loaded up and taken care of. Made just about $500,000 off that one, of which I took that money and then paid down as much of the loan as possible. We're now in the month of February here, and I noticed the uh, cows are out of bedding straw. They're also apparently out of hay. Okay, good to know. Well, we got plenty of hay here, so we'll just uh, bring that over here a minute. Actually, nope, that goes in this one here. Okay, there we go. Actually, is that too far in? Nope, I guess not. Okay, good. Probably should just, like, bring the auto load trail over here, and then I could just uh, dump them right off next to it, but I uh, didn't, so oh well. So yeah, looks like for starters this episode, we needed to get the cows uh, fed here a minute. And we need to get some bedding straw, which means I'll have to get a tractor over here as well then. We'll throw some uh, bedding straw into the uh, into the shredder there. Come on, bales. Cooperate here. There we go. <laughs> bales do not want to get over there, do they? Oh, come on now. There we go. Uh, straw, yeah, we'll just put you in that one. And silage. We've got a little bit of silage left yet. Not much. So I might want to look at getting some silage over here fairly soon as well. I guess you just cannot push two bales at once, can ya? Oh, there we go. Now we're pushing like three, three, four of them. Okay, cool. Is it full? Maybe it's full. Hey, is full. Oh, okay, I guess it's full. 49,000. I guess that's all it's going to hold. Okay, good to know. We'll just uh, we'll put those bales back over here. Uh, they are by no means out of feed, by the way. The cows do have plenty of feed here yet. Just uh, the, the mixing bays here. Or what the, the feed thing grabs from were empty. Uh, and then for hay, we need... Or not for... I'm sorry. Hay is full. Uh, for straw, we need 24,000. Okay. Throw a couple bales in there as well. Just kind of push those over there. Is that full already? Straw. I guess, oh, okay. Wow. That, uh, that filled up quickly. Thought they would uh, take all those bales. I guess not. How much left in these bales here, by the way? Uh, yeah, about half, actually. Okay, so not bad. Not bad. Yeah, we'll have to see what's up. If we get a chance here this episode, maybe we'll go grab... Actually, I'm going to want a couple of straw bales. We'll go grab some more silage bales from the shop there. I have to buy a couple, uh, couple of them. Let's see what's there. Should be in there, right? Oh, well, can't get in. We'll just grab a tractor. Uh, let's see, 9RT, that might be a little overkill. 7810, that should be a good tractor. Speaking of tractor, Evan, let's go check the shop here. Do we got any good tractors for sale? We got a whatever that is for sale. That's only, what, nine, yeah, 95 horsepower. Preferably, when I'm looking for something, maybe in the... Oh, it's a bale under it. That's cool. <laughs> okay, that's a new one. Haven't seen that before. Yeah, very interesting seeing the bale under there. I've seen other people with that problem on Facebook, Evan. I've yet to experience that problem myself yet. I don't remember right offhand what, what causes that again, but yeah. For those of you who follow along in some of the Facebook groups, that seems to be quite a common issue with bales showing up in the shop when you go to buy stuff. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, weird. Anyway, uh, yeah, I was saying about the tractor, and I definitely would like to uh, purchase some, you know, maybe 150, 250 horsepower, somewhere in that range. Uh, tractor. I guess I have to borrow the money and go, just go for it, but wouldn't mind seeing one come up for sale here. I saw, you know, Massey Ferguson 6700 with a bale sitting under it. Interesting. I wonder if it comes with a free bale if you buy it. The old uh, Massey Ferguson we had when we first started. Uh, Zetor, Massey Ferguson. Yeah, no, I don't think so. We're definitely not buying that one. Uh, a McCormick. That'd be an interesting tractor. Can't say I've really heard of uh, McCormick tractors around here in the uh, states that I know of. Okay, I'm assuming we need more. Let's see what's here. Straw. Don't think it actually shows me the straw. Or no, it, it does too show me the straw. Okay. Uh, straw is listed on there twice. So presumably the one with the, the 9,000 is probably the one. Okay, drop that bail. That is the bedding straw, I would assume. Drop that in there. Back down to the animals on this screen, and yeah, 9,000 there for that. Uh, slurry is definitely uh, filling up. We should maybe look at doing something with a slurry here at uh, some point. 
Uh, they're up to 61%. So again, everyone, uh, possibly by the end of this year, we might start seeing milk. I think it'll probably be more like next year in the game here. And at this point, I mean, that's kind of what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for the milk from the cows here so we can keep our factories rolling. Uh, we're waiting for milk for butter. And actually, well, let's go look here. I'll have to go look what the factory says here a minute. That's uh, running. Let's see what's here. So for cake, I wonder if we're going to make cake. We need flour. We got that. We need sugar. Working on that. We need milk. We need eggs. We got those. We need butter and we need strawberries. So yeah, we should be all set that one. We got strawberries in the greenhouses. We just need to switch one of them to distributing, which we'll probably do. Uh, butter. Yeah, we should be all set there. Milk. Actually, and butter is, yeah, the dairy here. So we need butter. 15. And cheese. Okay. And then chocolate is, yeah. So we should be uh, we should be doing pretty good on this here fairly soon, I think. Like I said, we're just pretty much waiting on the milk here at this point. That's the big thing that we need to uh, keep, like, the cake and the chocolate and stuff like that. And uh, start making some of that stuff. Oh, my goodness. Just dropping stuff left and right here today. What in the world? Up until this point, I really haven't had a problem with uh, dropping stuff here in the game. But all of a sudden, this episode here, apparently we're just going to be dropping stuff left and right. Yeah, we're definitely going to need a couple more bales here, you got to think. Bales, unfortunately, are all like partial bales, so if I get out, does it keep going? I think it does. Fortunately, I'm probably not getting another bale here in time, am I? Nope. Right, go ahead and unload. Let's unload it. We'll go grab another bale. Get in there. There we go. And yeah, once the bales are in here, I've on oh, Actually, you know what? That one, nope, there it goes. I was going to say, normally it doesn't let you uh, take them out of there. But I've been told, by the way, when it comes to the bales, that one, you do have a bale stuck in here. So like a while back, when I had a hay bale that was stuck in here, I uh, couldn't get it out. I've been told if you take it and turn it upside down, the bale will fall out. And of course, I would never do that. You're going to need probably the heavy lift mod or something like that, or uh, get creative with a front and loader. But uh, in my case, it's got the heavy lift mod. I'm going to just pick it up and turn it upside down. And apparently, the bale will fall out. I haven't tried it. haven't had a need to, but... Oh, my goodness. Come on now. What in the world? Jeez. Ridiculous. Okay, that should do it. Uh, we might need one more yet. Might need one more. That's a full. That's a 9,000. Okay, well... This one should definitely do the trick, then. Nope. Looks like there was actually enough in that last one. 754 liters left. Not too bad. Okay, let's go grab... Let's see what's here. Well, the 8R will work, I guess. Actually, you know what? I think the 7R is on the trailer, isn't it? Yes, I do. No, it is not. Oh, well. 7R is over here. We'll just grab the 7R here quick. These bales on here? Yes, they are. See if I can auto unload those bales here a minute. Those are for the horses if we need them. Speaking of horses, I haven't looked at the horses. They are in need of hay. Okay, yes, they are. Uh, the horses need some hay. And this reminds me, I forgot to uh, check here because we are currently reproduction. Yeah. Just going to unload these bales here a minute. Yeah, we'll just uh, take those. Might be able to just put both in, I would think. Drop that there. Okay, there we go. Horses, how are we looking now? Oh, yeah, we should be good now. Okay. Oh, and they're actually full, too, aren't they? Okay. We'll just uh, set that. Oh, and I got some straw bales in here yet. Uh, do we need straw? No, not particularly, although they might take the rest of this bale. <laughs> Be close here anyway. Nope. Nope. They're not going to take the rest of that bale, are they? Go figure. Okay, let's put that back there. Okay, horses are all set then. They're good there. Cows are doing pretty good. Keep forgetting to put down one of those manure pits. I want to get, I don't know that we're necessarily going to do anything with the manure, to be honest, everyone, but I guess if we wanted to, I should probably get some grain for the chickens too. Wow. They're not out, but it uh, looks like maybe one more month, maybe two more months. They don't have a whole lot left. Okay, we'll go grab some silage bales here a minute and while we're heading down there we can put in our order here a minute 
So we want some square sage bales. Interesting they're showing up here as well. Okay. Does that come with a free hay bale? You do not have enough money. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, let's go uh, take care of that problem here as well. We'll just borrow, borrow a little bit of money here. There we go. Now we should be all set. Uh, again, I'm going to pay down the loan as far as I could just so we won't be getting charged interest. Or be getting charged as little interest as possible here while we're skipping through the months. And uh, once we got the animals taken care of, everyone, we're probably just going to skip. Let's see what's here. What are we going to be to next? Probably the wheat harvest, I think, everyone. Or canola, which uh, I assume the wheat comes first, right? Let's see what's here. What do we got? So wheat is July. Actually, they're both the same month. So wheat and canola. So that'll probably be the next uh, next episode. That one probably under the harvesting. See if we can sneak in here close enough. It's gonna be a little close. Uh, okay. Just get them to at least look like they're sitting on the trailer here a minute. There we go. Oh, we get them hauled down there. Uh, the silage bales, by the way, of course, are a little bit uh, smaller than the hay and the straw bales. That's why they don't quite sit on there 100% right. In fact, uh, for the mod author, would probably, I don't know if it's possible to get them set up right or not with the way the game works now. But if they were to, you could probably get a whole other row on there yet. You can get five rows as opposed to four here. But like I said, again, I'm not sure if that's actually possible with the way the game works now. Because again, we got the... Uh, differing sized bales apparently and I presume these are probably the smaller or the smallest square bales And we should be able to just unload them right next to the the holding area there. And hopefully that'll just uh, take them right in. A little bit further. There we go. Filling up. Excellent. Is it going to take all of them? No, not quite. Oh, so close. Now we got to figure out how to get out of here. Let's see. Once I back up just a little bit, get around here. Ah, uh, trees in the way. Come on now. So close. There. No, still not. Maybe we should just, like, get rid of that tree. Tempting. Very tempting. Okay. Can we actually get around here? I think... Yeah, we can. Excellent. Nope. If we don't hit that tree now. Driving. Apparently uh, struggling today. Everyone struggling just a little bit. Okay, person, look out. I don't know what you're doing walking over here anyway. Okay, we'll get this uh, trailer taken care of. And I think I'm ready to fast forward time here again, I do believe. The cows are all set, right? Shut that off here a minute. Greenhouses should definitely be all set, I would presume. They shouldn't be needing water yet. Nope, they're doing good. And horses are good-ish. Yeah, the horses actually are good. It doesn't look like because these are not full of them, but the total is actually full. Straw is full. Cows, yep. Chickens, uh, maybe. We might have to check this out. We might skip one more night here. We might have to go feed the chickens. But we'll be uh, we'll be right back, everyone, if that is the case. Okay, everyone, and we're now back here now in the month of April. And, well, we managed to make it two months, everyone. And now the uh, the chickens are, like, completely... Oh, and they're full of eggs, too. Whoops. Uh, so yeah, the chickens are completely out of feed. I did not mean to do that. Oh, come on now, stop that. I want to push them out of there. There we go. That's what I was looking to do. Those moved out of the way here a minute. Reminds me, I should probably go check on our honey here. I haven't looked at the honey here in quite a while. Uh, that could uh, very well be full here as well. Yeah, I keep forgetting about the bees over there. Again, I'm on, we really don't make that much money off the bees, so meh. Our, uh, our greenhouses definitely pay much more. And actually, look from here. It actually might be full. So, yeah, we might want to go check on that. Oh, let's see. So do we have enough feed? We might have enough feed to actually feed the chickens without having to actually go to the shop and buy more. That would be kind of nice. There we go. 
Yeah, I don't think I'm going to make that turn. We're just going to go around and uh, come back in a little bit uh, closer here. Now, in fairness, I want the chickens. Uh, well, they are out of feed. They had 1,800 liters of feed left here when I fast forwarded time. So they basically had half left almost yet. So I figured I could make it one more day. Which is probably a little close, but hey, we technically still made it. Oh, and I got oats in the back of this one yet, don't I? Okay, that's not wheat back here. Well, the horses... Wow, the horses are really going through the feed here. Is that just me? I'm one of the horses, like... Whoa. Also, I see the reproduction is slowly going up, up to 63% now. Apparently, I mean, the horses must be eating a lot more, too, I'm thinking, because... I do not remember going through this much feed before. Oh, and we might not have quite enough feed here for the chickens either. I think it's at 9,000. Let's see once here. Yeah, it is 9,000. So I'm going to be just like 500 liters short, aren't I? Uh, we don't have any wheat in storage, do I? I think I do. We do. We actually have enough too yet. Okay. That truck that truck is in the way here a minute. Let's have over that a minute. Get that uh, truck moved. We can empty the oats. Well, actually, we probably should empty the oats into the horses. And I might want to look at getting some more hay over there then, apparently. Okay, we'll just park that there. Back to the 7R. We'll grab the wheat out of the silo, put the oats into the horses. Actually, is there more oats in here? There is not, which there shouldn't be. Oh, and I should check to have one. Uh, soybeans, I think that was the month of June for selling, right? We'll make sure we remember to sell the soybeans here this time. That was just from like two years ago in game, everyone. I uh, forgot to sell them the last time around. So make sure we try to remember to sell them here this time around. Don't want to forget again if we can help it. Oh, let's see what's here. We'll top off the chickens here a minute. And again, they shouldn't need much here. There we go. Yep. Just a couple hundred more liters there of wheat. And we got 4,000 liters of oats there. Put that in. And we can also throw this hay bale in here as well while we're at it. I don't know if I can sneak, uh, sneak that by there or not. There we go. Got it. Are we looking on the horses here now then? Horses. Uh, they're not quite full, but they are pretty close. Assuming that finished emptying. It did. No, it did not. Oh, we got wheat. That's right. That's wheat. Okay, we're good. Okay, we'll just uh, park this here a minute. We should be all set. And we should be ready to, I think, skip time through the night here again. Oh, oh, hey, look at this one. We actually got milk already. I was not expecting to see milk. I thought it said 18 months. Uh, I don't think we're even a year in yet. We already got a little bit of milk. That is perfect. And I'm presuming everyone, we probably need to pick that milk up and transport it, don't we? I was hoping the milk would, like, automatically distribute to where it needs to go. That would probably be too simple, right? Yeah, too simple. Oh, and before we forget here... For the soybeans. Yep, that is the month of June it's showing there. So we got a couple more months yet. Sleep another night. Ah, oh, another new day in the game. Okay, month of May here. Let's uh, see once here. Eggs look like they're pretty good. We'll just move that one out of the way before I forget. And also, I just realized that one. I was going to go check the honey. Let's go look at the honey here real quick a minute. It is probably full. If it's not, I'd be rather surprised. It has been quite a while since I've moved any of the honey pallets.
Well, nope, it's definitely not actually full of one. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. We'll just uh, push those out of the way here. I should probably check and see once again here when the best time to sell the honey is. Come on, pal, get off there. We'll just uh, pile the honey up here. Okay, looks good to me. Yeah, that's getting a little messy over there. I should probably do something. Oh, and for those who are wondering, yes, apparently this uh, 2720 Ripper has a wandering problem. Uh, it was parked up here somewhere. It is now slid back into the uh, the bushes and shrubs there. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think that thing had the same problem back in Farming Simulator 19, everyone. So apparently <laughs> that problem still is not fixed. Uh, we're up to 3,300 there. Not too bad. Still shows it's going up yet. And shows it's going to go up a lot. Unfortunately, it doesn't really like show you like prices here. So, like you know, it could be like three thousand here, and it could be three thousand one hundred up here without a scale of it. You don't really don't know like how much this actually is. It'd be nice if they put one of those on there, but oh well, whatever. Okay, let's check the animals here. Chickens are good. Yep, cows are looking pretty good. Yeah, we're getting milk. I mean, we are getting milk already. I'm uh, very surprised by that. Not complaining. Definitely, definitely not complaining. And wow, the horses are going through some feed. My goodness. If I remember correctly, I think I fed the horses like once. And I'm out of feed here, aren't I? Okay, do you think we can make it one more month? I think we can make it one more month. Yeah, we should be able to make it one more month. And then we can start selling the soybeans here. And then we definitely probably had better get some more bales over here for uh, the horses from the looks of it. And some oats for that matter. Okay, and we're back here month of June, and I just realized I think I left the tractor running, didn't I? Yep, I did. Whoops, we'll shut that off here a minute. Ah, uh, tractor's been running for a whole month. I'm sure that's uh, that's perfectly normal, right? Yeah, we definitely need to get the horses some feed. Cows here. Hey, we're not going up a whole lot on the milk, but hey, the milk is going up. That's good. Uh, straw, looks like they might need some more straw here really soon. Chickens are good. Uh, greenhouses are looking good. Bread is being produced. It says it's storing. It's not full yet, so that's good. 64,000. Apparently the bread, it doesn't produce real quickly here from uh, the looks of at least what I'm seeing anyway. And for the soybeans. Yeah, it looks like the price is up. So what are we up to here for price-wise? 4,000. Okay, 4,000. Well, let's get that truck back out that we parked back here. We'll get you hauling some soybeans. That was Gold Crest, right? Over to the Gold Crest Valley again. Seems like that's uh, probably one of the more common place to, places to sell at the best price, everyone, I've noticed. Probably sell there more than anywhere else. I'm guessing Giants probably favored that uh, sell point just because it uses the train system. So making the uh, people use the train is the idea, I'm sure. Okay, fill you up. Only be like two trips, so... Soybeans start that, and we'll get a hired worker going on this here in a minute as well. We kept trying to load up the soybeans here last episode, so we're actually going to do them here this time. Oh, it's actually set on it too yet. Okay. If I tell you to start the job, what happens? No, you're not going to fill up the other one? Okay, well, fine. Let's let the hired worker take care of it here. You need to go down to the shop, which I can you know, just have you do that as well. Deliver, just go to the shop here. You can start that job. And then we'll go ahead and pick up uh, some more oats a minute. So big bags. Let's grab some oats. Oh, uh, let's see what's... Yeah, we've got... Whoop. Uh, eight. Yes. There we go. Should be good there. And you know what? A couple things of hay might be kind of nice. So we got some hay back by... The cows. But we'll buy some more here just to keep up keep up by the horses here. I guess seems how the horses seem to be going through a lot of it for some reason. I don't know. As the horses get older, do they go through more hay? That seems to be what's happening. Okay, 8R. Let's grab the 8R here. We'll put you on the other wang in here a minute then. Turn off the GPS. We don't need that on at the moment. Yeah, definitely uh, staying a lot more busy here, everyone, now that we have cows and... Uh, like I said, the horses seem to be taking a lot more feed. Actually, I think the chickens are taking a lot more feed too now, aren't they? I don't know. As they get older, do the chickens take more feed? Possibly. Oh, 
Okay, I'm not sure what the 7R with the gravity wagon is. Oh, okay, now he's turning in. That's weird. Looks like he went a little too far down the road. Uh, turned around the other way on the road. Did a U-turn on the road and then came back and then pulled into... Into the shop area. That's kind of weird. Whatever. Too bad this uh, trailer doesn't actually like pick up the uh, pallets of... <laughs> okay. <laughs> doesn't actually pick up the pallets of oats. I know those could just uh, throw them on the pallets. And I would guess that the horses will probably take the pallets straight up, I would imagine. Not 100% sure on that one, but I'm, I'm just guessing that's probably uh, true. Okay, nice, nice job there, uh, Tractor. Nice job. Way to go. Bravo. Bravo. Okay, well, we'll bring the hay bales back. Then, everyone, it's probably about time to wrap it up here uh, this episode. I figure you folks probably don't want to watch me fill up the gravity wing with oats. We'll get that done and uh, taken over to the horses. I might grab some. You know, I probably should grab some wheat while we're at it, too. I'll fill up the other gravity wagon with wheat. Unfortunately, we're going to leave like a, was it like 50 liters or something like that. If I get bored one of these days, I, mean, I might just go adjust those gravity wagons so they hold it even 24,000. Works out really nice that way with the, the totes and the pallets and the bags, right? Okay, can I unload on the other side? Yes, I can. And if we get it just right here, everyone. There we go. Tight fit, but it works. Okay, we'll just leave them there. I will go grab one of those and bring them to the horses here a minute as well. Okay, make sure we shut the tractor off that time. Okay, there you go, horses. That should mostly fill them back up then again, right? Yeah, up to 14,000. They're three quarters full, so that's not so bad. Uh, straw, they could use a little bit more straw again, couldn't they? Okay, grab that straw bale back out here. I don't know if they'll quite need all the bale here this time or not. Uh, apparently they will. That most, okay, we'll call that good. That mostly filled them up. Anyway, like I was saying, everyone, with that, I think we're going to wrap this episode up here. If you folks have any comments or questions, uh, be sure to uh, leave them down below. And I don't know, it's getting exciting, everyone. We almost have milk. Well, we actually do have milk. We don't have a lot of milk, though. But yeah, once we get more milk, everyone, we can actually start getting the factories going a little bit more here. Hopefully that milk produces a little bit quicker than that. I'm assuming it will once uh, the cows reach their full puberty here. At least I'm hoping they do anyway, because, yeah, only 12,000. It only went up, what, like 1,000 liters a month? So that's, that's not very much. Not very much at all, everyone. So again, hopefully that'll go up quicker, because otherwise... I don't know, what, another cow pen or something, maybe? I'll have to see one. So, anyway, again, everyone, thanks for watching. Comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. And, as always, uh, thanks for watching, and until next time.